Hi Scrubs, I hope you're well. So we're back in Horse Riding Tales. Um, so I just want to mention something. There is an issue right now with those on older iOS devices. Do not update your game if you're on an older iOS device. I'm going to leave a link to Foxy Adventures post about that because you might lose game progress if you do that. Um, now we're going to jump into the update. I'm on an Android device. Um, so at the minute the pets update is now available. Um, we've got the brand new pet expansion. We've got 15 new horses. We have now got the ability to tame Frisians and Arabians in the wild. Um, I haven't seen any yet myself, but you can let me know in the comments if you have. Um, there's also now the wild horse mode where you can become a horse. Um, then you've also got the remastered store with the brand new shop interface and the horse gallery. We've also got new chest animations. We've also got a remastered cross country and multiplayer races. And and we also have a safer chat system. Now you can click on a player um, in the chat and report an abuse if they are being abusive in the chat. Uh, we also have remastered outfits and several bug fixes. Now, the thing that we've all been waiting for and the thing that we're going to go and look at first is the new pet area. So let's go. Um, we're probably... Actually, do you know what? No, actually, we'll, we'll, we're just going to go over. We're just going to go over. Um, and see the new pet area. So round here, uh, this will be, as far as I know, accessible to everyone. I don't think it matters what level you are. Um, we've got the new pet area around here, so we're going to go over and talk to the vet. So some pets are actually running around at the, little, at the moment, as you can see. Um, there's a little deer and a little uh, baby wolf as well. All right, we're going to talk to the vet. Okay, so let's see the information. So introduction. Hi, welcome to the new Meadow Pets expansion. My name is Vanessa. I'm the local vet. If you want to help me rescue pets, come talk to me. I have plenty of pets for you to adopt. As you can see, we've made some renovations around Meadowcroft. Here you can earn XP and apples in a collect a uh, thon time trial mode. Over here you can teach your pets new tricks. I love to teach our, my pets new tricks so I can show off to my friends. And if you find platforms like these all over Meadowcroft, each one has a different trick, so be sure to collect them all. Over here you can send your pets on missions to earn resources. There's also a nice name named Silent Sam who would like to meet you and your pets. He's a local farmer who would greatly appreciate your help. And lastly, if you're up for an adventure, you and your pet can go hunting for treasure. Who knows what you might find? Okay, so let's go up here and have a look at this first. Obviously, I don't have a pet, so unfortunately I can't demonstrate any of this in a minute. Uh, but we'll have a look at all the different options that there are. Okay, so let's see. So black pearls. So how to get black pearls. Win a multiplayer race, complete a social quest, buy a medium boost in any social quest, and buy a large boost in any social quest. Then daily, we've got... Okay, so sales are on all day, every day, if you like, a, if it's like a dream come true. Uh, great deals every day. Two daily pets are available for adoption. I know exactly what pet you're going to get. Daily packs are at a lower price, discounts, refresh daily. So let's check that out. Okay, so right now it's the white tiger and the jewel um, deer. Oh, they're really cute, both of those. So we've got packs. So there's a mystical pack. A random rare, epic, or fantasy pet will be summoned by this pack. And that's 70 black pearls. And we've got the aqua pack. Oh, that little deer is so cute. That little white deer. So a random rare or epic pet will be summoned by this pack. Then you've got the chocolate pack, which is a random and common rare or epic pet will be summoned by this pack. And then we've got the lime pack, which is a random, common, uncommon or rare pet will be summoned by this pack. So there's plenty of variety there. There's loads and loads and loads of pets. And then we got cosmetics. Oh my goodness, there's a little pirate hat. Oh my goodness, and a top hat and a wizard hat. There's loads of different hats. What else have we got? A traffic cone. <laughs> oh my goodness. We have glasses. 3D glasses. What else have we got? I was new, uh, I was hoping for like a pirate eye patch. That would be funny. So we got trails as well. Now I don't know what the trails do. Then we got auras. Coins, butterfly, grass, snow, and heart. Okay. We can't actually demonstrate any of these because we don't have any pets right now. So if I click on my pets, no pets. So then we got pet quests. So let's have a look at the pet quests. Okay, so there's daily missions. Click a uh, mission node to check out a detail. Okay, so let's just check one of them out. So the mines near Metacroft hold more than just minerals. Through the school of Metacroft done a great deal of good work in defense of those mines, they still need more help from you. Okay, so we can assign up to three pets. It takes 60 minutes. The hazards are poachers and it's nighttime. Currently my success rate is zero. 
But we get a reward and uh, we have to pay gold to start that mission. And we can't really do that right now, so we've also got the story missions. So let's look at that. So home sweet so home. Meadowcroft is a peaceful town at its core where the soothing hunter of hooves can be heard off in the distance. Most people know each other in Meadowcroft or at least have shared in some gossip at one point. However, it's safe to say that everyone knows a local farmer, an intimidating man at first glance. One of few words. However, the inhabit inhabitants of Meadowcroft know him as the gentle giant Silent Sam. He's from a long lineage of farmers that have worked the land of Meadowcroft. No matter the weather, they have always come through for the people of Meadowcroft. This year, however, Sam has found a has found produce to be extremely slow due to the drought. Thankfully, his trusty Frisian um, north by his side, they have managed to pull through with enough food to tie the locals over until the next season. Sam's horse is uh, deeply dear to him, as they share a rare bond. North comes from an ancient breed of war horses that have kept the land safe from beastly creatures throughout the centuries. Now that there has been peace for many ages, the bloodline of Frisians can either be found working the land or displaying their, their graceful strength as lords of the dress arena. And today the whole town is in a bustle, as they prepare for the yearly pumpkin festival. Everyone from Tom down by the river to Little Jack from the bakery compete for the title of largest pumpkin in the yearly competition. Sam's wife, Margaret, can normally be found hanging up decorations in the town centre, but today she's desperately trying to get a hold of Sam. There is trouble back at the farm. Perhaps your pets can help. Locate Sam before it's too late. Okay, so we check requirements. That's got a minimum level of requirement too, so I'm assuming that's for the pets themselves. So there's like a lot of stuff now that's come with the pets, which is nice. I just wish we had a pet. <laughs> we just haven't had any luck getting uh, black pearls in social quests. And I haven't really tried a lot of the multiplayer races recently. So I've seen if I click my pets, there's nothing that's going to come up. But we can name our pets, we can tap pets to learn more about them, and make your six favorite pets follow you, check your pet's level, and check what trait uh, your pet has, and check how close they are to learning their new tricks. Right. So. All of the, these different areas, um, we can do those things if we have a pet. So obviously this is where we can start the missions. Um, this is where we can train them to do a trick of eating. Then we've also got the other little um, area over there as well. Oh, look at the bunny. I didn't notice you before. Oh, you're real cute. It's very inquisitive too. So yeah, there's like a lot here. Is this some more stable areas over here? Or am I just... Oh, there is. There is some new stable areas over here. Is there any horse in here? No. No horse in here. Okay, but it does take us over to our horses. Which is actually pretty convenient, because I was going to get Clamatus out anyway, so... Right. Okay. So. There are... Um, a couple of these uh, training areas that I've already seen. So, there is... One just there below me. Um, there is another one. Hold on, I'm gonna bring you back down to the ground for a minute. Right, let me set you onto counter. There we go. Um, so there's another one over here for trick is sleep. And then we've got a couple more. There's another one over here that I've seen too when I was mining a little bit. Okay. This one here, which is for Rabbit Hole. Now, I don't know if there's any um, sort of over in the main fantasy area, but uh, there are. There is one here. I believe this is. Which one? Yeah, there's one there. And that is for. Let's see. Sit. Yeah. So the, there's quite a few different uh, ones around here. Now, I haven't seen any tableable Frisians or Arabians just yet. I haven't been lucky enough in that regard. I'm just going to see if there's any more over here. Oh, there's a fire horse. Do I have any orbs is the next question. I don't, but I can make some. Right, make three. Right, let me... Okay, well I didn't mean to go up in the air there. <laughs> Come flying down. Right. Okay, now don't spook on us. Nope, don't spook. We will also have a look at um, the new shop interface. Right. Okay, the other thing I want to mention is these traits. We've now got traits. If you click on them, you can see what they are. So we Quirky, Spirit, and Swift for this horse. All of my horses now have traits as well. I don't know what the traits do. Um, I believe the pets also have them as well, but I don't know uh, their purpose yet. Um, if anybody does know, you can let me know. Now, we're going to have a look at the shop stuff now. 
so there's like a whole new layout in here. Uh, we've got horses, for example, here. Um, you can get a stable along with the horses as well, some out or some uh, resources. And we got outfits where you can just buy the entire outfit, for example, dressage uniform, Minecraft Academy uniform, and then fancy uniform. Then we got wild mode. So with the wild mode, if you buy this, it's 1980. You can become the horse, no saddle is required, and show off your horse in a new, unique way. Great for role playing with your friends, and you can still ride all of your horses. So you'll be able to use wild mode with any horse you own. This includes horses that you get in the future. Then we've got this. Um, and this I love, right? So I'm just going to go back to the, like, the common horses here. I love this because you can actually see the horses. So we can see the Don, the Skewball, the Bay, and the White Common. Now if you go into Uncommon, we can see Black Beauty, Piebald, and White Majestic. Then Rares, we can see the Appaloosa, the Dapple Grey. And then we can also see the horses that we haven't got, like the Black Arabian. Uh, the brown Arabian, then we've got the dapple Arabian, and I really like the like dark dapples on that, it was really cute. Then we got the white Arabian, and then if we go into the epics, we can see f uh, aqua, fire, unicorn, uh, the wavy Frisian, and um, the bear Arabian as well. Like, come on, go on, shoot, we're, we're trying to, don't eat the grass, we need to see the other horse gonna have to move along. <laughs> so we got the Bay Arabian here, who doesn't really seem to want to talk to us, he's a bit shy. And then we got the Cosmic Frisian, which I think is gorgeous. Then one of my favourites, which is the Ombre Frisian, if it would come along there. So we got the Ombre Frisian, and then finally we've got the Platted Frisian as well. And then we have the fantasy horses, so we've obviously got uh, the pink fantasy, the purple fantasy, the fire pegasus, for example, and the aqua pegasus, and the black pegasus. Now, I have, out of all the horses that have appeared to me, the first one that ever appeared to me out of the capturable fantasy horse was a purple fantasy, that's the one that got away. Uh, then the aqua pegasus was the one that we captured, that was Clematis. Um, the next one that appeared to me was this black pegasus, but I didn't manage to capture it. Um, so, we can see all of them in here. Oh wow, look at those wings. So, um, Pink Fantasy. Then we got the White Pegasus, which has beautiful wings. And Purple Fantasy there. Then we've got the Onyx Pegasus. The Bronze Pegasus. And then we have the Cosmic Pegasus. Look at those wings. Those are really pretty wings. And then we've got the Ombre Pegasus. I'm not sure where that one doesn't have wings. <laughs> I thought it should. And then we've got the Platted Pegasus after that. And then we have the Pearl Pegasus. Graphite Pegasus. That's very nice. I like that. And then we've got the Raven Pegasus. Ooh, that's got really nice wings. And then Tawny Pegasus. So there's a lot of horses there. A lot of horses. Um, now if we go back out here, then we've got chests where we can... Now this thing I was wondering, if any of you guys know, you can let me know. So the mystical whistle, for example, there's also a silver, bronze, and a wooden. Uh, the bearer of the ancient mis uh, mystical whistle can call upon a rare, epic, or fantasy horse. Now I'm wondering how many uses. Is this like a one-off? You buy this and you're going to get to use it once. That's what I want to know. If any of you have used it, and you can tell me, I'd be really curious to know. Uh, then we've also got resources, which is the mystical chests, where you can get uh, different resources. And then VIP, obviously, um, where you can try it for three days for free, and then after that it charges you. And then we obviously have the gems, the food, and the gold. Now most of that's pretty, they've changed the interface, but um, pretty much everything else is the same. So there's a lot of new stuff there. Um, so far, oh. well, I might capture that horse actually if I have enough. Um, Rare orbs, I'll just make an extra one. Alright, let's just capture this horse while we're at it. But yeah, there is a lot of new horses. And a lot of new things to look at. Of course you would only take one orb. Normally I don't have that kind of luck with horses. Alright, don't run off. There we go. Okay, what are your traits? Bold, hardy, jolly. Okay. So I'm really curious to know what these like traits all kind of do. 
I know some of you have been wondering why I'm still using Lavender for competitions rather than using Clamatus. It's because Lavender still has the most stamina. She's over 700, whereas Clamatus is level 1. I'm saving up Abbles to eventually level her up because she's only got 12 stamina. Now, we're going to take Lavender here. And we're going to do the last of these competitions to unlock the next part of the quest. So, we're going to go and take her on in to this competition. Okay, we've only got one fence left to jump. Did hit a few of the fences, so we're not going to get three stars for this. Let's see what we get. Okay, one, two. Okay, we got two stars. And 141 apples. Okay. Right, so now we've got a new quest, which is to compete in, I think, the next set of the competition. So finish all tiers in round two with at least one star. Okay, so we'll have that to do. We've made some progress. Let me know down in the comments below what has been your favorite pet out of the new horses now that you can see all of them uh, as your favorite horse. Um, I'm curious which pets are your favorite. Have you got a pet yet or are you still working on getting your black pearls? But anyway, scrubs, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you've had a lovely day. Bye-bye. Uh,